In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to accurately resize your, your passport picture for the DBA lottery with no mistakes. And what to the end of this video, I am going to give you a secret website where you can verify that every requirement that is being needed from the ones to the beginning of the picture to the requirements, the verifications that would be done behind the scenes, the one you can see, the one that would be done to verify that indeed your picture meets all the requirements for you to be able to apply. So stick with me to the end of the video. So what we do next, first of all, if you go to far, you're going to use Adobe Photoshop for this tutorial. So you go to far, you go to new, and then you create a new file. You, you create a new file and you name it um, DV Lottery. And make the size 600, which is the width and the height to 600. Resolution 300. You click on create. Now we have our 600 by 600 pieces. What we do next is we are going to import the picture, the, I mean the passport picture. For the DVD lottery, so you go to open and you locate the passport picture where you have it on your PC. All right, so we are going to use this lady. As you can see, the background is already in red. What I advise you to do is, whenever you are coming to apply for the DVD lottery, take a picture that has a white background already. But for the sake of this tutorial. I just want to use this picture to show you how this whole process is going to be. So I am going to go ahead and take off the red background, but I don't advise you to take a picture in a red background before turning it into white using the process I'm going to do. I'm just using this for the, for the sake of this video. So let's go ahead and choose a white background because that is the first requirement that is very very important when you are applying for this 3d lottery that is very important the picture has to be in an even background which is white so i go ahead and take off this red background all right so it's just as easy as that so what we do next is we drag this picture onto our pixels, onto our pixels, the 600 by 600 layer, and resize it very well. All right. So here we go. We resize the picture very well. All right. I think this is good. Okay, so what we do now is we are going to export the picture onto our computer. You export it, so click on save. All right, now I am going to show you the secret website where you can take or what you can use to verify that everything that you did is accurate. It's going to check from the shadows from the background and everything that is required of the picture to be verified to be truly accepted by the website you can just come here on photoshop resize the picture to 600 by 600 as you can see here the picture when we come here we click on properties we go to detail it's already 600 by 600 but that is not all that does not mean the picture is 100% good for this registration. There are other background checks that is being done, but most people don't know about. And this website I'm talking about, we are going to do those background checks that is being done once your picture is uploaded onto the DV Lottery website. This website is going to verify, give you accurately verification if your picture is going to pass for the DV lottery or not. So without wasting my time, let's head right to this website right now. 
The name of this website is Green Card Photo Check. It's Green Card Photo Check. You can comment in the comments. You can leave a comment in the comment section if you already knew this website or this is the first time you are hearing about it. So uh, when you come to the website, it says, do you want to win a green card and live and work in the USA? If you are planning to do so, you will want to participate in the Diversity Visa Lottery Program of the US government, better known as the green card. Participating in this lottery is free and you can always find the information you need here. So this is the official website of the DV lottery. Okay, so however, the requirement for the photo you have to submit is very strict. This website helps you to make sure the picture meets the requirements. So just like I said, so when you come to this website, all you have to do now is click here, check your image for free, scroll to wherever you have this picture. So here is the picture you just resized and we upload it onto the website. Voila, the picture has met all the initial requirements. I mean the initial checks from the first check the photo must be in square aspect ratio. The, the photo is in square. The photo must have a minimal size of 600 by 600. That is what you just did in Photoshop. Because normally when you take the raw picture, the file wouldn't be in that size. So that it's very important to upload it into any editing software that you have knowledge about. In this case, Photoshop and resize it onto 600 by 600 pieces and that is what i just showed you guys the third point is the photo must not exceed the file size of 240 kilobytes and in this case it did not the photo must have a full size at least 54 kilobytes and in this case it's passed through the next point the photo must be saved in the text we have our photo in the text the photo must be in true color no black and white like i said the photo that is why i removed the background but in your case, what is very important is go to a proper photo studio, you know, a very good photo studio with lightning. Let them take a raw file, a raw picture of you without no editing and just resize it. That will increase your chances. So in my case, I had to just take off the background for the sake of this tutorial to show you. And then what we do next is we click here go to next check so the next check is going, we are going to answer some questions to verify if our picture is indeed meeting the requirements all right so the first question is in the picture on the left are the eyes of the person on the photo located within the red dotted area so as you can see from here this is the red dotted area and you can see her eyes are located within it her eyes are located within it so we click on yes and the next step what we have to do is drag this green bar to touch the top of the lady's head to touch the top of the lady's hair so as you can see we had the picture in 600 by 600 but there is one mistake you did. This picture really looks huge and does not meet this requirement. It's the bottom of her chin, now located within the green dotted area. As you can see, her chin is not located within it, even though this upper line is touching on top of her hair. You understand? Her chin is not located within it so in this case what happens is you would have to take another picture to be far away from the camera so this picture for for instance right now is not going to meet the requirement but if you had not come to this website to check we could have just uploaded it onto the dv lottery website and it would have been accepted you understand it would have been accepted but automatically it was going to be disqualified even though it met the 600 by 600 photo the ratio that's the, the ratio requirement even though it met it you upload it onto the website and it tells you it has been accepted but automatically it would be disqualified because 
these requirements, these requirements here wasn't met. Her chain wasn't located in the green line. So what we have to do is now to take a new picture of this lady far away from the camera so we can get you know a clear shape a clear head shape where we can make sure that it meets this requirement so let's go ahead and do just that so guys we have taken another picture i'm going to use another picture for this tutorial and this is the picture we are going to use right now okay so you upload it onto your photoshop the the, the size of the bar um, has already been it has already been resized to 600 by 600 so what we do now is export it we are going to export the picture onto our pc dv lottery okay we replace it with the one we just did and we head over to the website again to check if it's going to meet the requirement so when we come here you click on that you insert your picture you upload the picture and it met the initial requirement too so let's head to the questionnaire so with this one too as you can see her eyes are located within the red dotted area you understand her eyes are located within the red dotted area so the first requirement is met we click on yes and when we drag where this is where we had the problem with the first picture i just wanted to make a, a demonstration to show you how everything works so with this picture you drag this green line to touch exactly on top of this lady's head and you go like in looks like the second the second question asked is the bottom of the chain now located within the green dotted area so as you can see this time her chain is now located within the green dotted area so the second requirement is also met we click on yes and then this is the last part where it asks you some questions and the first question is the person on the photo wearing a hat or any other head covering which is not worn because of religious beliefs and if it is for religious reasons is it covering any part of the face so if what this basically means is that you don't have to wear anything covering your eyes or your head if not for religious beliefs but for the benefit of the doubt if you are a muslim lady you can wear a hijab but it shouldn't cover your face it, and only shows the eye it can cover your hair but it shouldn't cover your face but for the sake of increasing your chances it's very advisable to just take a picture without wearing anything and in this case this lady has nothing covering her hair so we are going to choose no is the person on the photo wearing a hat no she's not the second question is the person looking directly into the camera without tilting the head up down left or right as we can see she is not tilting her hair she is looking right direct at us which is direct into the camera and so we click on no yes yes is the person looking yes she is looking directly into the camera the third question is the background of the photo neutral yes so as you can see we have the whole background in white it's neutral we click on yes the, the next question is the person in the photo focused she is very focused as you can see she is looking right into the camera she is very focused yes the next question is the person on the photo she is not wearing any glasses is the person on the photo wearing glasses or any other objects which are covering or distracting from the face no she is not wearing any glasses so you go ahead 
and select no is the princess mark closed yes her mark is closed you go ahead you select yes are there any shadows in the picture being in being it in the background or on the face so as you can see there are no shadows there are no shadows in the background in the face there are no shadows the face is even background even you go ahead and we select no has the picture been deformed rotated or in any other way been manipulated so like i said it's very advisable to go to a proper photo studio where you would use lightning and a very good camera to take the picture with a wide background with no editing there shouldn't be any retouch on the face or anything the only thing you have to do is just resize it in photoshop by 600 by 600 you bring it onto this website to check if it meets the requirement and you are good to go so no the picture has not been manipulated in any form the next step have you used the same photo in an earlier application so what this basically means also is let's say you registered for the DV lottery last year with this same picture and register it this year with the same picture you have to use another picture so what this basically means is that you take a new picture for this year's dv lottery registration so we go ahead and we click on no and the last and finally we click on finish now to check if the picture makes it so voila your picture has passed the test and now you can head over to the DV Lottery website and make your registration knowing very sure you don't have any problem with your picture. What is left to do is to pray to God for luck because you know there are millions of thousands, millions of people registering and the chances of winning is very slim. But when God is on your side, it's possible you can be a winner click on just hit a little tap little tap on the subscribe button so anytime i make a new video you would be first to know let me also know in the comment section if you already knew this website or this is your first time hearing about it thank you guys and see you in the next one